When you first create your BuddyBase application, you'll be brought to this page where we can add a new data source. At BuddyBase, we want to help you turn your data into action. So it makes sense that the first thing that we want you to do is to connect your data. If you have pre-existing data, you might have it in a collection of REST endpoints. You might have it in a relational or a non-relational database, or maybe even in an object store or in a spreadsheet. But we want to help you stop siloing that data and getting it up and running. And I'm going to connect to a SQL driven database in this video. I'm going to use PostgreSQL and I'm going to get it set up. In order to be able to connect to a database like this, I'm going to need to have the connection details. So you'll either have those yourself or you'll need to get those from admin. I'm going to fill in my host name, my database name, my username, and my password. Now the database provider that I'm using for this demo needs SSL. So I'll switch on SSL. I'll scroll down and I'll press connect. BuddyBase will now fetch all of the tables that I have on that database. And I can choose whether or not I want to sync all of those or just some subsection. And I'm going to bring down my appointments, my pets, and my owner's tables for this demo. When I fetch the tables, they appear on the left-hand side and I've got full CRUD functionality for each of these tables as I click through. I can edit them, I can delete them, I can add new records, and in every way, treat my database like a spreadsheet. BuddyBase will do the work of writing the right SQL queries to update the backend. What I can also do is I can create relationships between the data. So I can say that owners have multiple pets. So I'll define a relationship. I'll say one owner has many pets. The ID for the owners will be here. And for the foreign key, the ID for the pet will be the owner ID. I'll save that. And we can see that the pets are correctly assigned here. I can remove them from here and move them around. Maybe Max actually belongs here. And maybe Star belongs to John Doe. If I go to the pets table, I'll see that the pet owners are here correctly. And I can change them directly from here. So maybe Lucy is also belongs to John Doe instead. And that will stay up to date. For SQL databases, I also have other things that I can do. So I've got the tables that I can see here the relationships that I've created and configured, but I can also set up custom queries. And these queries can be treated just like any other data view on the front end. They can query my data in some other way. So let's select um, the pets.name and the owner.name, but they're both called names. So I'll need to, um, I'll need to rename this one. So I'll just call it owner. And then maybe the, pets.type from the pets table. And I want to join that to the owners table on pets.ownerid, which will be the same as owners.id. So if I run that query, I can see I get the name of the pet, the owner and the type, and I've got that ready to go. You can save that. That pets with owners will now be available on my design tab to be able to fetch this data. This is a very simple SQL query, and we could probably achieve the same um, by doing the merge, but often we can optimize our SQL queries and this is one way we can share those with the front end without having to, on the back end, have to run it periodically for users who need a particular set of results in a particular format. We can also add dynamic variables. So I might say where, where owners.id equals uh, owner ID. And I'll add a binding of owner ID and set that to one as a default. These are all the animals who belong to John Doe. If I try setting it to default of two, you see Jane Smith owns this particular animal. The benefit of this is this query can now be shared with the front end and they can change the owner ID as needed. So we have a optimized SQL query with these bindings that can allow us to make those queries dynamic and more useful for our, for our users in the front end. If you want, you could add multiple SQL tables, non-relational databases, and REST APIs, and combine that data together on the front end to create powerful applications that leverage your data in interesting and productive ways.